Dr. Antoinette Roberson. I'm the Senior Director of Career Management Services at Megar Evers College uh, in Brooklyn, New York. And I'm happy to be here today in London, albeit virtual, I love it. And uh, we're gonna talk about seeding the growth of collaboration, a startup story. And so our agenda for today, we're gonna talk about Startup New York. How did it come to be? Who is Nanotronics, our startup company? Elements of the Mega Nanotronics Partnership, outcomes beyond the partnership, future recommendations and questions and answers. Startup New York, how did it come to be? What is it? Startup New York was a vision set forth back in 2013 by New York's governor, Andrew Cuomo. The premise was to couple academics or institutions, academic institutions and businesses, and offer them free incentives, tax-free incentives to seed economic growth by creating jobs. I've heard a lot of that today on the conference and future entrepreneurs. In the startup uh, diaspora, there are 212 businesses that are currently a part of this program, this innovative program. Now, who is Nanotronics? Nanotronics is one of the 212 startup companies and is the fastest growing of the 212 companies. They were founded back in 2010 and seeded in 2011 through this Startup New York program. The company develops hardware and software products that combine microscopic imaging and artificial intelligence. Heard a lot about that today on the conference call as well. Uh, they grew from a startup to a revenue generating company worth multi, multi-million dollars in just eight years. And they're suppliers to the aerospace, electronics, and pharmaceuticals industries. So now let's talk about the elements of the Nanotronics MEX partnership. And so these were the initial deliverables. MEX students and alum will be onboarded into paid internships, full and part-time positions. Nanotronics will participate in career services events throughout the academic year. MEC will coordinate in-class visits for Nanotronics to present an overview of services to introduce their brand to students from all disciplines. Nanotronics will work with the School of Business programs in a mentorship capacity to support student development and sustainability. Nanotronics and MEC shall collaborate on mutually beneficial and relevant research projects. And lastly, Nanotronics will allow students to participate in short-term shadowing experiences as well as on-site immersion days. And so I just wanted, I, I'm a visual learner myself, and so I wanted to make sure that I was able to provide some visuals here for the group. And so if you see in that top left-hand corner, you see a self-driving van, that is something that was conceptualized by Nanotronics. Innovative. And then at the bottom, you see our illustrious convener, Dr. Joanne Roll. And next to her is, is me. And then we have a few Nanotronics representatives, their um, director of engagement. Uh, next is uh, Dr. Howard, who is the chair of our computer science program at Megar Evers. Uh, Rosa Zavalis is that next person who is one of our faculty persons in the Department of Computer Science. Next is Melissa Atterbury, who is the executive director of human resources for Nanotronics. And then Mr. William Blair, who worked in our continuing education program. So let's talk about some outcomes. We looked at the, de the, the deliverables. We had six deliverables. So our outcomes on those deliverables are, deliverable number one, MEC students and alumni will be onboarded into paid internships, full and part-time positions. And these are our findings. Cohort one, this was our first year back in 2019-20 academic year. We, had, we onboarded two juniors from our computer science uh, department and one senior social work major. Now remember, I mentioned earlier, Nanotronics is interested in all disciplines. And so we had two computer science and one social work major hired as interns for that 1920 academic year. The CS majors received a performance raise in that same year of 2020 and were offered another one year internship period through 2021 based on their performance. And we're so proud of that because we know that they were developed and groomed at Mega Evers College to be sustainable and to move forward in the workplace. And they performed, they did their job. One, the 2019 social work alum, alumna was hired in human resources at Nanotronics. She was one of our superstars at Mega Evers. And again, she went on to produce 
tremendous gains uh, as an intern first and then was hired on uh, in, in their human resources department. By May 2020, she was promoted to human resources associate and offered full-time status. Cohort two, we had one computer information system sophomore and three computer science majors were all offered paid internships for the 2021 academic school year. One 2019 computer information systems alumna was offered a paid externship for the 2021 academic school year. And then cohort number three, one computer science major has been offered a position as summer research and development intern for this summer. One social work major has been offered the summer internship as junior inventory associate intern. And lastly, one finance major has been offered the summer intern internship as junior project associate intern. And lastly, one MEC finance alumna was hired as a part-time junior purchasing associate. So as we can see over our three cohorts, Nanotronics is invested, but that did not take place without us cultivating that relationship. Mega Evers College is, is stellar at cultivating relationships that matter so that our students can go on, they can be empowered, and of course, sustainable and scalable in their areas of interest. So for very deliverable number two and three, we can kind of collaborate those two together for this next set of outcomes. Uh, Nanotronics will participate in Mega Everest Career Services events. MEC will coordinate in-class visits for Nanotronics to present an overview of services to introduce their brand to students from all disciplines. Here are our outcomes. Uh, their director of community engagement participated as a resume reviewer for MEC's resume bootcamp, which took place uh, Last September, 80 students attended, and that was a 10 to 2 p.m. event. The CEO, Mr. Matthew Putnam, the Director of Community Engagement, and other representatives from the Communication Department and Human Resources Departments of Nanotronics also participated as interviewers for another initiative, our Speed Mock Interview Initiative, which was last September 25th. 60, 60 students attended that event. Chief of Staff presented a workshop, and let me just let me just be clear on those first two bullets. Those were both virtual events. Those were both done in a, a COVID-19 environment, and we are just so excited uh, that those really took flight. Chief of Staff presented a workshop entitled "Branding: Who Are You?" on Wednesday, January 29th. 75 students attended that workshop. Director of Community Engagement and Human Resources Associate attended the School of Business's Financial Innovations Lab ribbon cutting ceremony. Uh, this took place prior to the pandemic, uh, by the way, and launch event on Monday, February 3rd. More than 100 students and 20 industry partners attended that inaugural event for Mega Evers College. <clears throat> Human Resources Director Melissa, At Melissa Atterbury presented on resume strategies as part of the Senior Career Leadership Institute on Wednesday, May 27th. 32 students registered for this event. Human Resources Manager uh, Melissa Atterbury again and two Human Resources Associates participated in MEC's inaugural virtual career fair, which took place last June. Uh, and this was also prior to the pandemic. Um, 31 students participated in that virtual career fair and we had 10 employers. Uh, three students came out of that interaction with internships as well. Chief of Staff presented at Fireside Career Services Chat last June and spoke to 52 students about uh, nanotronics, the services that they provide and the opportunities that they hold or held at that time. Very, very um, riveting conversation. The students gained a lot and were very, very satisfied uh, based on the surveys that we, uh, we, we gave to them. And then deliverable numbers four and five. Again, we're convening these two deliverables together because the outcomes dictate that. And so currently, Nanotronics, the Office of Career Management Services and the Department of Computer Information Systems are currently designing a course curriculum which will blend AI business intelligence principles with soft skills development. This is gonna be a very exciting um, um, come together because not often do we have that soft skills training so prevalently interspersed within an academic curriculum. That's a game changer because the feedback I get from a lot of employers is that yes, your students have the hard skills, but the people skills, the likability skills. If people like you, 
there's nothing that they won't do for you. And that's, that's the uh, philosophy that we integrate into our students on a daily basis. We empower, we educate, and we engage Mega Ever students. And so that's why this partnership is gonna be so profound. And I'm so looking forward to uh, where we take this in, in the months to come. So now let's talk about beyond the partnership. These are things that were byproducts of Nanotronics being so vested in Mega Evers College and Mega Evers meeting the charge uh, when, it was, when it was needed. The CEO, Matthew Putnam, was the keynote for the International Conference on Business and Economic Development hosted by the Center for Business and Economic Research and Mega Evers College in August 2020. As part of their honorable mention in the spaces, places, and cities category for Fast Company, CEO Matthew Putnam mentioned the Mega Evers Nanotronics Partnership as a part of their announcement of recognition for the 2020 World Changing Ideas Award, which hit newsstands on May 5th. CEO Matthew Putnam mentioned the Nanotronics MEC partnership in their Fortune Magazine interview as part of their Future of Access initiative. And I was unbelievable. Dr. Robertson, maybe I, I'm the devil's advocate here, but the next two minutes, please. Oh, no problem. Thank you so much. I'm at the end, so this is perfect. Okay. And lastly, I was, <laughs> I was asked to speak at their groundbreaking ceremony. They moved into a 20,000 square building in this area called, we call the Brooklyn Navy Yard. Um, and so, you know, they kept their first building, but they were able to upskill uh, into a 20,000 square foot building that used to house the ships that came into New York as a part of the Brooklyn Navy Yard. So there's a little bit of history there for you too. So future recommendations. Of that list of deliverables, the only thing that we really couldn't get to, and that was because of the pandemic, was Nanotronics will allow students to participate in short-term shadowing experience as well as on-site immersion days. They're excited about getting groups of our students regularly to come through there and, and from all disciplines as well, because they feel like if you can critically think through problems, then you are a solutions broker. And so it's not necessarily the discipline like it may have been in the past where CS and CIS majors may have been the only ones in the running for these kinds of positions. They're looking for social works. They're looking for communication majors. They're looking for education majors. They're looking for liberal arts students. And the lot, because if you can think through things, then you can see through things. I love that philosophy. And um, we love it when employers take that, that kind of stance. So I am at the point of any questions. <music>